Hey gamers, welcome back to Fits the Game, your source for news, reviews, and how-tos for Dungeons and Dragons. If all those things sound good to you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Today's news update comes to us via Kickstarter. Critical Core is a tabletop role-playing game designed on the rule set for Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. It's designed to help kids on the autism spectrum gain social skills and confidence, but it's also a great entry-level RPG for anyone who's just uh, beginning their journey into role-playing games. The game is brought to us by Games to Grow, a non-for-profit organization, and it's co-developed with parents, autism advocates, therapists, and educators. The game is built on a simplified version of the Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition rule set, but it can actually be applied to any role-playing game that you would like to use. It's made for 2-4 to four players, age 9 and above, plus a game master, and is strongly recommended that if you're playing with ch children on the autism spectrum that are younger, that you have a parent present or a certified therapist to run the game along with the game master. The Critical Core starter set will come with everything that you need to start a game right out of the box, including a facilitator's guide that is focused on social skills development that can be used with any role-playing game, quick start rules for players and game masters, a series of adventure modules geared towards specific areas of development, four sets of game dice so there's enough for three players plus the game master, game cards to quick reference rules and spells. These cards aren't necessary for play, but they're included in the package as aids for both players and GMs to make the game run smoother. A reusable dry erase game mat and tokens to place on the game mat to keep track of combat and movement during gameplay. Critical Core is actually looking for funding via Kickstarter, and at the time this video was recorded, they had reached their $48,000 American that they were looking to raise to create the product, and they had actually exceeded that amount by $60,000 to be sitting at $108,000 American with 32 days left in the Kickstarter campaign. If you would like to help fund this project and help them reach their stretch goals of adding new material to the game, there's a link down below. And while you're down there, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified whenever it fits the game's videos go live, hit the bell notification. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you in the next one.